Hi there, today we are going to discuss of how to encode information into light. For us to store and transmit information, we just need access to two distinguishable states. For example, you could shine a laser pointer at me and, by flicking it on and off, send a message in Morse code. However, try not to blind me in the process. So, why do we use photons when you have electrons? The main difference between copper and optical fiber lies in the number of weights you can squeeze in. In optical fibers, you can squeeze in trillions more weights in, in copper. So, now that you have a medium and make use of photons instead of electrons, how do you send data? The answer for this would be modulation. Basically, modulation is the process of varying one or more properties of the carrier signal with a modulating signal that contains the information to be transmitted. It's the process of conveying a message signal, for example a digital bit stream on an audio signal, inside another signal that can be physically transmitted. So, what types do we have of modulation? Well, there's the direct one through current modulation and external through optical modulation. In the first option, light is emitted from a semiconductor laser only when a mark is transmitted. No light should be emitted when a space is transmitted. The current is driving to a directly modulated semiconductor laser and is varied according to the data to be transmitted. In the case of external modulation, we can make use of a modulator, the device that performs modulation, of a demodulator, the one that demodulates the signal, and a modem, the one that performing both tasks. So what can we modify in order to transmit data? Well, we could work, for example, with the amplitude, being the maximum values of the signal, the polarization, the intensity and the phase, being the difference by which the signal reaches its peak compared to the origin of the graph. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day and see you later. Bye.